Welcome to Disturbing Creation. And we're here today to teach you about a new skill. I'm gonna be doing basic mechanic skills, intermediate mechanic skills, and even expert mechanic skills. Depending on your level, I've got a playlist for each. Hey, welcome back to Disturbing Creations, and I wanted to make a quick video today while I was working on a buddy's car. So let's say you get into your vehicle and you see one of these weird little dash lights. Um, what it is is the TPMS, the Tire Pressure Monitoring System uh, light to let you know that your tire is low and you need to put air in it. I'm going to teach you uh, how to do that right now. So I'm, I got a couple of these uh, lights here all together. I'm glad that we have this, the check engine light, this one that I'm making blink. That's for your engine. But this one here that I'm making blink now, that one by itself means that your tire pressure is low. So that is a tire, picture of a tire with see little tread on the bottom. And what that is, is the tire's bulging out because the pressure is low and there's a little exclamation point on there saying, hey, you need to do something right now. So when you see this little light, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to pull over or get to a gas station or something and put air in your tire. And I'm gonna show you where to check the, the air pressure and I'm gonna show you how to put the air in your tire and monitor it for this little light to go out. So on most vehicles uh, nowadays, they have stickers to help. They're like self-help stickers. So open the driver's door and right inside here, if your stickers haven't been removed, it'll show you, you see the picture of the tire here and it'll tell you what size is recommended for the front and the rear. This is the same tire and you come over here and it tells you 32 PSI. That's pounds per square inch. You don't really have to know that, but in case anyone ever asks you, this is a different rating, 222 KPA. I'm not very um, familiar with KPA in this country, so we use PSI in America. So we're gonna go and put air in the tire and make it come up to 32 PSI so the light will come out. And I'll show you how to do that. This is the tire that's a little low, a little bulged out, like the picture. And um, we're gonna find this little thing. Sometimes it has a cap and sometimes it doesn't. This is called the valve stem. This is how you put the air in or take air out of your vehicle. There's a little valve in here called a Schrader valve. You can actually pull that valve out, but you don't wanna do that. So you're gonna take your air nozzle it, you can go to Wawa or one of your gas stations. Um, sometimes you have to pay. Uh, sometimes it's free or if you have a compressor. Uh, they sell car compressors and you're going to put this up to this. You hear the air. And then this, you're going to squeeze it. Well, it's going to blow off because I'm not holding it with two hands. But you're going to put air. And that little piece that comes out there tells you how much pressure's in. So we're at 30. We want a little more than that. And 32. There it is. And now the tire's up and the light will come off. I will show you the light coming off, but you have to actually drive the tire, and this is a customer's car, so I don't want to do that, but um, I promise you, unless your sensor is broken. Sometimes, when people change your tire, they break the inside of the sensor in here, and they don't tell you, or they don't even know that they did it, put the new tire on, and even though you got it um, up to the PSI, and you reset it on the vehicle, it won't come off because the sensor is broken. 
I mean, so they do break, I guess, on their own. Cold, hot, cold, whatever. But uh, this is how you reset the light and put air in the tire. Thanks for coming to Serving Creations and checking out this basic uh, mechanics class. Love you guys all. Subscribe. Give me a like. I'm out here in the cold doing this. Have a great day. Bye.